Hello there, welcome back. We take a look now at the American television drama Castle, now in its sixth season and the winner of three awards for favorite TV crime drama at the People's Choice Awards. With its dry wit, romantic tensions, and interesting plot twists, the show seems to have all the ingredients of an enduring series. Our Hollywood reporter, Christy Hahn, takes us on a rare behind-the-scenes look and talks to the stars about the hit show. Mr. Castle, Detective Kate Beckett, NYPD, we need to ask you a few questions about a murder that took place earlier tonight. Castle follows Nathan Fillion as Richard Castle, a famous mystery novelist who charms his way into shadowing Detective Kate Beckett, played by Stana Kaddick. Castle decides to use Beckett as the main character of his next book series, and although Beckett initially disapproves of having Castle shadow her on her cases, she later warms up and recognizes him as a useful resource in her team's investigations. Watching the show on TV is one thing. Getting to visit the set is quite another. So this is the house set on Castle. We have the loft area, the kitchen, the dining room, and even the bedroom. And this is where most of the action on ABC's Castle takes place. Walking around the New York-style loft where Castle lives, it's easy to forget you're on a set in the middle of Hollywood. So here we are in Castle's kitchen. This is the open kitchen where the whole family has dinner, where Castle cooks his pasta. We have a fully stocked kitchen right here, and there's even a coffee machine, which is empty right now, but this is a real coffee maker. We have the fully stocked refrigerator, which has everything in it from juices, milk, and what's really amazing about this stuff is that the prop department did such a good job. It looks so real, but actually there's nothing inside. It's really a testament to the prop designers and the set designers of the show. So let's take a look at the office. The living room set is filled with a piano, pictures of Castle's mother and his daughter Alexis, and of course, filled with Castle's most popular books. After all, he is a writer. I'm sitting right here at the very desk where Richard Castle writes all his crime novels and gets inspired for the rest of his stories. But I hear they're shooting right next door. So let's go on over and talk to some of the cast members. Come on, let's check it out. This is a live set. The whole cast is working. Between the crew and the actors, there are probably 100 people on the set. A 30 second scene could take a whole morning of production. After a few takes, Stana who plays the female lead, Kate Beckett, gives us a few moments of her precious time. She has a bruise on her face. Not to worry, it's only makeup. I think we have a really, really amazing cast, and so everyone goofs around as much as they can. This episode's a little bit more serious. Some of the actors have beat me up, as you can tell. Um, and uh, so, you know, everyone's respectful of each other's process, and uh, it's, it's fun. We're lucky we get to come and play uh, pretend every day. You know, I think for in some cases it's the perfect balance between uh, drama and uh, humor, and there's a really wonderful kind of romantic element to it. So I think people um, respond to a different twist on a procedural, on a traditional procedural. What you're doing right now, this is not helping. This, I'm going to remove myself from temptation. A good night's sleep will give me some perspective. Even though the relationship between Castle and her started out rough, the romantic tension was always there. And make no mistake, fans have rallied for the relationship between these characters. Um, why do you think that people love to see you guys together? Um, I don't know. I think it works, you know. It, the ball bounces between us really well. And so uh, I'm sure people that are in relationships relate to the relationship and to the complications that come up, especially now that they're engaged. Um, and I think, you know, when Castle is goofy, that that's always fun to play with and see. And um, when Beckett kind of uh, is that dry, humored wit, um, that's always fun to play and see. So I'm sure that they relate and they just, I don't know, love the two of them together. I take it this is your idea of working the Santa case? Detective Esposito, you're supposed to be digging up that ATM footage. And you are... Chasing down that lawyer that our victim had been calling. Sorry. Okay, then. Another important female character on the show, 
Captain Victoria Gates is played by Penny Johnson Gerald, the boss of the 12th Precinct. At her own insistence, she is called Sir by the officers who report to her. Gates, known as some as Iron Gates, is more interested in career advancement than in interpersonal dynamics. Her character has definite feelings from the fans. They hate me. <laughs> no, actually, um, when I first started, I think the fans did have a problem warming up to Gates. And I think, AKA her name, Iron Gates, she has to have some kind of, you know, toughness about her, sternness about her. But I think she has become a delight. And that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> and maybe because I'm playing her. But um, also because it's being written in a well rounded way. So I'm enjoying when she's evolving. And uh, that makes me very happy as an actor and as a viewer, too, because I happen to be a fan of the show. Castle? Yeah, I'm going to put you on speakerphone so you can weigh in on this. We in on what? Well, we're in the morgue with Lainey trying to figure out who Beckett's boyfriend is. Well balanced between tough female characters and their witty counterparts, Castle has some seasoned actors who not only bring the action, but also the humor. Our show, it's not too edgy, it's not too scary, it's not too violent. It's um, one of those things that has, sort of pleases a lot of different people. We've got comedy, we've got drama, we've got romance. Um, we've got suspense, you know, it's sort of one of those things that it, it serves so many different facets that I think I, the people who are attracted to our show are just really normal people. It was very obvious that the cast gets along off camera as well. As you can tell when Seamus was trying to learn to say Happy Chinese New Year and got interrupted by Nathan himself. Xin Ying Kuai Lo. Xin Ying Kuai Lo. Did I say that correctly? Xin Ying Kuai Lo. China. Happy Year of the Horse. We had such a great time talking to all the cast members and seeing all the amazing sets. As you can tell, it takes more than one person to make an amazing show. We're so grateful we got to visit the set of Castle. Christy Hang, CCTV News, Hollywood.